going these days. We're going to go through State of the Galaxy, just give an update on some of the you know hot topics uh, that have come through the community and a few updates on things happening in the past four weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Chapter 14, Mandalore's Revenge. That went like July subscriber awards for the people who were subscribed uh, July 1st next month. Uh, we're going to tease a little bit about a brand new event we're going to launch uh, soon called the Dark Side vs. Light Side event, yep. uh, and we'll get to that. Uh, Charles is going to talk us through a little bit of a tease for Chapter 15, the Gemini Deception, and what we can expect to come uh, in uh, the next chapter, and then we'll do the Musco Classic forum wrap up. Yep, and the stream will take about eh, 30 minutes, give or take, depending on how much time we spend talking to ourselves. That's <laughs> usually what's termed. Discussing t-shirts. <laughs> correct, <laughs> correct. All right, so let's go over some of the community topics. Yeah, so, I mean, we just kind of set up a chapter uh, 14 went live, Mandalore's Revenge. I know from our side, we're really pleased with how smooth of a launch it's been. No major bugs, no download problems. I think we're really getting into the swing of, of getting these chapters out at a really high quality bar. Um, so that's exciting. I know the next slide will talk a bit more about what that chapter's about, but just wanted to call out that, it, that it's out there yep. and nothing major's come from it so far. Which is good, which is very good. So, Swatour so Cantina 2016. For those that don't know, we've announced that we are going to be at Star Wars Celebration in London. I'm so excited. It's going to be so cool. All three of us will be there? All three of us, oh, yeah. will, all three of yeah. us will be there. There'll be other people too, but... The three of us will be there. Do yeah. they even count? I mean, yeah. I mean, probably not. Why show um, up all the else? all the details for the cantina itself you can find uh, on the website. Take and link them in chat. Short version is it'll be on Saturday night uh, at a place that is basically attached to the convention center. So if you're going to be yeah. um, at celebration, we're right next door. So come yeah. visit us. Yeah. And then uh, no details yet, but right now we're looking at our next cantina after that, probably being in New York around New York Comic Con. But we'll see. We'll see. You don't want to lock anything in just yet. Yeah. For the celebration event, do you need tickets to celebration to get into our cantina? You do not. Like uh, nice. like like most of our our canteen is it's just first come first serve uh, we're also not even doing pre-registration this time so it's first come first serve for the entire event we got a pretty big venue so we should be able to, to suit everybody but nice but come on over nice i'm so excited for celebration oh man <laughs> it's gonna be so good <laughs> the eternal championship so the eternal championship goes along with um a couple of the other promotions that we were running through may just to give out mountains and mountains of prizes to things in fact the person that won the eternal championship speedrun contest will be joining us in London as well along yeah, with, a friend. with a friend um, so thank you to everyone that joined us for the, the EC speedrun contest like the participation was out of control uh, my favorite stat is one guy ran uh, or girl ran the eternal championship 310 times <laughs> which is an average of 21 times per day Oof. for wow. the entire duration of the contest which Hardcore. is which is out of control. Um, so I know there's been some questions about things like um, how we determine the winner and all the rules and stuff. I made a forum post, again, take and link it, which kind of talks about um, what was the start and finish line, what are things someone could have done to maybe not be qualified for the contest, all that kinds of stuff. So take and link it. So again, thank you to everyone that joined in for the contest. We appreciate it. Grand Chance Cubes. So we know that when we introduced Grand Chance Cubes, there were some people who, who were sad. They missed the new bronze items coming in each pack, and they wanted them yep. to be there. So starting with Chapter 15, the yep. pack that comes with Chapter 15, right. we're going to be introducing new bronze items along with Grand Chance Cube. So there'll be, I don't want to say 50-50 chance, I don't know. Yeah, but ish. 50-50 ish yeah. chance that when you get a bronze item in a cartel market pack, you will either get a brand new bronze item or a Grand Chance Cube. So a little bit on both sides. So keep the feedback coming on the packs. The guys really do like to listen to it. Yep. Class changes. Uh, chapter 14 introduced class changes. It's been a little while since we've done class changes. We did them a little bit differently than we've done before, where we really made sure to give more insight from the team on why we were making the changes. Um, and it seemed like you guys really liked that we did that. Um, so that's something we're going to continue to do going forward, is make sure that we give you insights on exactly why your class might change. So, good deal there. The must go marathon live stream. Last but not least. Um, <laughs> I don't know if everyone knows, but I did a marathon stream where I played chapters 1 through 13 straight in one day. Um, for It took me 15 hours, almost on the dot to do. I just really wanted to put it on here to thank everybody that came by and listened to me tell horrible stories <laughs> and got uh, amazing bird screams, things. Uh, bird, screams. bird scream noise, which I'm not going to do right now because <laughs> we want viewers to stay. Uh, but I just want to thank everybody that came and joined me. There was a bunch of people. People who stayed for the whole 15 hours, which is crazy. So um, I just I love the progression of all the giveaways you were doing because <laughs> they go crazier and crazier. Yeah, yeah. And at the end, you're like, we'll give away a year subscription. Yeah, and we're, 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 we're like, okay, this is this is what happens. Me, Tate, and Keith just being in the building for so long that we're just like, whatever. Here, you just get stuff. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> you get a prize. You <laughs> get a prize. <laughs> yep. It was great. So thank you to everyone that that tuned in. Uh, it was a long day and I had a, a lot of fun. So thank you guys very much. Yeah. Hey, you know what I just realized. 
Did we introduce ourselves this time? We didn't. Oh, we probably did. Do we probably should? Yeah, we probably. Even should. though it's a little late. Yeah, now, but uh, Tate just po Tate just pointed out that our faces are covering the text because I realized I moved the picture to the other side. So while they're introducing themselves, I'm gonna move our faces to the okay. other side of the screen. <laughs> it's gonna make it impossible for them to tell who's talking. That is true. <laughs> oh, that's true. Well, I'll go first. That, that sounds slightly different, that so you won't lose track of who I am. Zoom. Um, so my name is Ben Irving. I am the produce the producer for Star Wars: The Old Republic. And I am Charles Boyd. I am the creative lead for Star Wars: The Old Republic. And I'm Eric Musco, and I'm the community manager for Star Wars The Old Republic. And now you can read text. Thank you, Tate, for the, for the <laughs> note. All right, so let's get into uh, Mandalore's Revenge. So before... Oh! oh whoa! Before whoa. we go there... My bad. We wanted to ask everyone in chat, from Chapter 14, who was your favorite character? And as we kind of get those things going through, we might pick a person or two and give a prize out. And then while that's happening, Charles will kind of talk a little bit about Chapter 14. Yep. So who was your favorite character from Chapter 14, Mandalore's Revenge? Yep. And then Tate, I'm going to throw this at you right now. Just grab one or two people as that are going through and telling us their favorite characters and give them a prize. Is it safe? Is it safe? <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> All you, Charles. Uh, yeah, so Chapter 14, Mandalore's Revenge. I, I was really looking forward to this one because I'm a big uh, Mando nerd, uh, and I love Shea Vizsla and Torian both. Uh, so it was a really great chance for us to you know, get the Mandos, bring them into the story, uh, give the, the player, the Outlander, the chance to team up with them against uh, Arkin's forces, against the Eternal Empire. You know, raid this massive uh, factory, go after a critical resource. I'll uh, try to avoid too big a spoilers, because <laughs> I know some folks are still playing. Uh, also, you know, giving us a, a shot at something really critical for the Eternal Fleet that's going to play into uh, Chapter 15, which we'll discuss here in a minute. Uh, also, with this chapter, we released uh, Brune Mark's uh, Alliance Recruitment Mission. He's uh, always one of my favorites. He's just so like brutal and bloodthirsty and cruel. and He's just one of the darkest dark side companions yeah. I think we have in the entire game. <laughs> yeah. And he's a Towels, which are like one of the weirdest looking aliens in Star Wars, and I just love all the really strange looking guys from the cantina. <laughs> so it's just a great combination for me personally. Hopefully uh, everyone out there dug him as well. He's, and uh, and I, I had to share that there was a forum thread where someone called him Broomdock, <laughs> and it has become my favorite forum thread of all time, and I can't not see his name without thinking of Broomdock. So thank you, Random Forward, Noah, for, call, for getting his name incorrect. It's my favorite thing ever. So who do we think in, in the chat spam, who... Who's been the most popular? Yeah, I think that the surprise has been Como Fett. Yeah, he's, he's scoring yeah. high. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen his name a lot. I mean, yeah. certainly Shay's a fan favorite since yeah. like, like pre-launch even, right, yeah. with, uh, yeah. with the Deceive trailer. Yeah. Um, and Torian. I, I've actually been surprised to see how many people who hadn't played either the Bounty Hunter story or hadn't played uh, pre-Coffee even, how much they really liked Torian's character. Yeah, yeah, I seem to go over well for folks yeah. who uh, don't know him. Uh, yeah. uh, a good question came up. Tell us when to stop. So oh. you can stop now. Yeah, you can stop now. Because yeah. we're, we're getting close and to... I, I was going to say the person's name, but it was like, I am pretty cupcake or something. And so that was... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So that's fair. I guess you, you guys can stop now. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think Como Fett probably comes out as the, the surprise yeah, winner. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. The Dark Horse right. candidate. All right. So Tate, Tate will grab one or two names. Hang on. Let me see what he's saying to me. Oh. Hey, so... You want to read those names? Those are the two winners that he picked? Off to you, Charles. Uh, I'm going to say that that's Zinala, I would not agree. Xinala. I would probably agree. And Starbucks 1771. Congratulations. Uh, clearly a, a history fan. Congratulations to both yeah. of you for winning stuff. Tate will be in touch to figure out what that stuff is. I want to I want to give one more honorable mention, just because I've seen so many people call it out, the music in this chapter. Yeah. Uh, it was really important yep. to me to, to get that, that music in there because it's so tied uh, to the Mandalorians, and I really love seeing all the players who caught what that was and where it came from. Yep. Uh, just it warmed my heart. Yeah, it was. It Everyone was, else appreciated it, it as, as much as, as much yeah, as It really was everywhere. Like it, and yeah. it's, it's good music too. So yeah, I turned that. Yeah, major props to, to Jesse who, who put that together. So Hosanala, I love stuff. Well, if you love stuff, <laughs> I have great news. Just in time, stuff. Woo! No stuff. So, as has become tradition now, yes. we uh, from the latest Cartel Marker pack. So this went out with uh, Chapter 14 as well. The Revenge pack is now live. Uh, we are going to have a competition. We have each picked an item from that pack that we think is the coolest, and we would like you guys to vote on it, and then we're going to pick some winners. Yeah. That doesn't even really make sense. No, How are we going to pick the winners? Let's do it this way. It doesn't work. Let's do it this way. We'll do... Pick, let's do... Mandalore. We'll do a raffle. We'll All do right. the, the word is Mandalore. So type Mandalore in the chat, and then if we select you as a winner, we'll do three winners. Okay. And if you, you win, can... you can pick one of these three items. Okay, that's fine. I yeah. like it. All right. So Should first we, up, we have to let's discuss talk about why. Yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. right. So why don't you go first? Yeah. Right. So I think the companion is clearly the coolest. 
I mean, unquestionably. We've done, we've done some beast campaigns, which for those that don't you, know, you I'm not talking absolutes when yeah. I say yeah. contest. Yeah. But Only yeah. Sith so, dealing absolutes, yeah. must go. That's fine. I totally accept this. So the thing is, like, I, I love the companions. Similar to being a mount collector, I also collect the companions that we have. And so I love all the uh, companions we've introduced with the cartel packs. And there's been a lot of beast ones. There's been some droid ones. But I don't think anything tops this. Because if you see someone walking around with this Annihilator droid, it's serious. Like. Yeah. It's solid, and also like the textures and everything on it. Like the team did a really good job in detailing this this companion, so I'm I'm a big fan. Also, it can kill things. So. Yeah, always always a bonus. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Commander Vizsla armor set. Uh, obviously, like I said, big Mando fan. I think it's a uh, pretty Kandosi, as the Mandos would say. Uh, pretty sweet set. Uh, Shay's awesome. Anyone, anything you can do to bring in some Shay awesomeness, look like a badass out on the battlefield. Right. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I mean, o overall, very weak points from my <laughs> I think. Um, not even enticing anyone at this point. I think for sure the Wicked Huntress armor set is uh, Numero Uno, uh, inspired by Valen, who um, is probably outside of Valkorian the most powerful force user who's existed in our game to date. Yeah. Um, so I think that kind of inspiration for me, and I don't know if you guys remember, I like to pick the robes often in these competitions. True. Um, it all stems back from the Juggernaut being my nearest and dearest uh, character uh, in SWOTOR. Uh, so I think I think the Wicked Huntress armor set is where it's at. I will say, even though Ben's wrong, he does <laughs> he's pretty good at making an argument. I feel like I feel like the accent gives him a plus one to all arguments uh, as it is. Just, all right, it just sounds more persuasive. All right, so you guys can top stop oh typing because we have our three winners, which have been drawn, which are Spartan Easy, Shore Step. They're all S's. Shore Step. And Sarandil, congratulations to all yep. three of you. Um, Tate will be in touch, or you can message our, our official yeah. account, and you and can pick one can of those. Can they at Swotor us with their answer? Because there's three of them. Oh, true. And then we can see if oh, yeah, which true. one of us, yeah. like which, one, which yeah, prize they want to win, yeah, and Tate, we can yeah, see. Obviously, we need to know which one of us is right all the time. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It's yeah. 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 Tate, make sure to let us know. Tate, make sure to let us know. And since, I mean, that was that was really, that was most of the really, really awesome stuff. There was some good stuff in the past. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's most of it. Was there anything missing that's obvious? I don't, yeah. nah, I don't think so. I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. else. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Next topic. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, there was something oh, more interesting. Oh, here that's we go. That's right. So I think we should probably give one of these away. Let's give... Three, three oh, keep of consistent. the vented lightsabers. Okay, I think that's the best thing. I think it's only fair if we use the word "vented" for this drawing. Yeah, I think that's, a, on that. that's a great. Seems word. reasonable. So, yeah, me and Lee both like the the sabers. <laughs> so, please type the word "vented." I almost said "saber." Vented into chat, um, and we'll do another drawing for another three winners to win the defiant vented lightsaber, which is just. This, when I saw this the first time, yeah. I remember yeah. just yelling in the middle of the day. Like, oh, I think God. I could hear you from my desk. Yeah, you know, some of the rooms down. Man, yeah. So good, so good. Shall we move on while they're going through the drawing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Announce let's, the winners. Let's move yeah. Keep moving and grooving. <laughs> so one of the things that we always try to do, um, it's something that that Ben kind of wanted to include in the producer letter, and I think it's been it's a good idea and it's cool is to try to draw highlight some of the cool stuff that's going on around around the community from different streamers and YouTubers, and um, we featured YouTubers a bit, so we thought we would mix it up a little bit. Um, first from Nastasia Fun, um, she does this amazing Lana so, Benico cosplay. So good, so good. good. So Look, good. We've been following yeah. it for a long time on social, like we've retweeted it and stuff a lot on Twitter, yeah. but um, she posted this great image of her cosplaying with Revan, and it was at Oh, I don't remember the city. But it was at a Comic-Con where they had taken this shot, and it's just such a cool shot. So yeah. um, amazing work to to her for the great cosplay yeah, that she does. just exceptional. Yep. Really nice work. Uh, and speaking of social media, uh, we uh, Nick, who sits next to me, does a lot of our social media stuff, and he's like, you got to highlight Theron Thursday because <laughs> yeah. it's become my favorite thing. So uh, I wanted to give a shout-out to not only hashtag Theron Thursday, which is hilarious, but hash but to the hashtag Swotor family folks. There's a lot of people who use that hashtag, and it's really, really popular, and it's a really great community on yeah. Twitter. Yeah, a lot of great folks. They also have uh, I believe it's Miri Allen Monday that they started celebrating as oh, well. Nice. Um, so uh, if you're on Twitter, definitely check out anyone that's in the Swotor family and feel free to use Theron Thursday. I, just, I love this as a photo bombing as well. Right, like, yeah. That's why I thought it was a great one to grab for the deck. I was no, like, no. yes, photo bombing in a virtual world. Okay, this is too good. Yep. You and guys can stop with the vented, by the way. We've we've got we've got correct. Winners. Yeah, I think we're probably going to start pulling up the winners soon. Um, and then last but not least is the bad feeling guys. We've certainly talked about them before because they're 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 lucky to be local here in Austin. Um, and they did a great feature throughout the 
whole month of May where they came in and they talked to a bunch of us in the studio, all three of us included, just to kind of get our favorite memories from playing The Old Republic. And they've been putting them out through all their episodes throughout the month yeah, of May. Yeah. So if you get a chance, definitely go listen to literally any of their episodes, especially in May. I mean, you can hear some of our favorite memories from playing the game. Yeah, it was great. I was, um, I, it was funny because I was listening to some of the podcasts last night. I was trying to catch up on them. And um, I was listening to the podcast I did right after our last live stream. And so they delayed it for a day to, to sure, do that. Sure. And um, they were saying, hey, it's great that the Soy Tour guys are calling out these community contributors now. But they were like, but they're always doing YouTube, guys. So now we have to go learn YouTube <laughs> so that we can make videos and we can do stuff. And I was like, well, now what we have to do is have no YouTube videos and do all social, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. image or podcast type yeah. things. So I guess the only call out there is like, well, you're welcome, but um, <laughs> also, like, it's just very, very much that we want everyone to contribute in whichever Correct. way they think is the right way. It can be videos, it can be posts, it can be Twitter, it can be Facebook, it can be images, it can be, pot, like, whatever you guys want to do, we, yep. we yep. think all that is great. And we watch all that stuff. Yeah, and I'm always on, on the lookout for it. Yep. So. And yeah. as always, if you happen to be a community contributor of any flavor, um, find a way to get in touch with me. Twitter, forums, email, anything you can, get in touch with me, and there's always things we try to do, help guys with contests and giveaways and promotion and anything we can do so so make sure you get in touch with us for sure but yeah there's, there's also some really funny stories buried in those as well for sure all right sub rewards so um as you guys know the subscriber reward for june which is now live was the eternal empire patroller speeder um so those of you who qualified for that uh will have that uh in your mail right now uh and for the july subscriber reward like i know Everyone got a little bit upset last month. We didn't do an HK reward. Absolutely. And there was we high demand to, to bring it back. So we wanted to make sure we, we brought that back again. This is our HK55 Victory Stronghold decoration. Uh, it's a really cool poster you can hang up in uh, your stronghold uh, dedicated to our pal HK55. Right. Uh, to qualify, you need to make sure you're subscribed by July 1st. And then you will get this reward as well as... Uh, early access to chapter 16, Correct. which we will announce the title of that and give you a little tease next time. Yep. This time we'll talk about 15. Yep. Correct. Uh, oh, so I see the uh, the the winners for the. Sorry, I was reading two yeah. different messages. They're winners for the vented lightsaber. Do you want to read those? Yeah. And I'm picturing because some of them because are because they're impossible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Correct. Uh, Eric Musco, Ben Irving, yeah. and Charles. <laughs> Boy! Boy! Okay, uh, Valthizia, Valthizia? I think uh, Valthizia? I'd give, that's what I'd give it, yeah. Um, Epic Flynn, Toaster74, the three of you. So Valthizia, Epic Flynn, Toaster74 are the three winners of the Vented Lightsaber. Yep. Congratulations. So congratulations. Congratulations, yeah, you now own the single coolest item in the game. Yeah, do I get one? Because I did hear you say my name. So. And, uh, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, believe I, I believe I heard that I won. <laughs> Tate, please credit Musco's account <laughs> with one Vented Lightsaber. Thank you. Carry on. Appreciate it. So here's something totally new that we haven't talked about before. Yep. It's probably unexpected, uh, and that's why we want to do something cool. So yep. we have been conceiving of this new event uh, called the Dark Side versus the Last, the Light Side event. Uh, it's kind of in honor of Soitor's fifth anniversary. So if you didn't know that, uh, five years of Soitor being live comes up at the end of this year. And so we wanted to do a whole lot of really cool things leading up to that. And one of those things is the Dark Side versus the Light Side event. So it's going to be a galactic event where you get to earn epic rewards. Um, and it's going to center around Dark Side choices versus Light Side choices. Yeah. And so I won't get into all the details of this. I just want to tease a little bit out, and more of the information will come in around three weeks uh, from today. So the whole idea is that when you play the game and you make dark side choices or light side choices, the sum of all the choices that everyone makes through the entire duration of this event is going to impact what happens next. And so what's an example of that? Because I don't want to give it all away, but sure. one example would be so one of the rewards you can earn by participating in this event is a uh, companion that we're going to introduce to the game. So a new companion we haven't seen before. Uh, and that companion, depending on who wins or who loses, will either be a light side based companion or a dark side based companion. So that will encapsulate how they look, 
uh, you know, their face, combat abilities, uh, combat abilities yep. uh, and that kind of stuff. So that's just one example of, of what would be impacted yep. there. And the whole idea with this event is we're going to run it for multiple months. Um, so it's going to be quite a big event with lots of different objectives to do. Um, we're going to have, you know, six tiers of rewards. And the more you participate in the event, the more rewards you can actually earn. Yep. And, and these you... rewards are very, very... Like, yeah. it's easy for me to say they're the best rewards in the game. And you guys roll your eyes and say... Then the producer said they're the best rewards <laughs> in the game. But like I would say this time, that's like a no joke comment. Some, I'd say these sense. are the like I'll be shocked if you guys don't say, Yeah, you know what, then you were right. Those these are, are the best rewards in the game. There's some solid stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's funny, I saw I was actually bad feeling, I was like, I expect a lot of dark side victory. So I'm curious, <clears throat> in chat, let us know genuinely across the entire game, do you think more dark players. side or light side, like what do players yeah. do more often? Because we actually checked. Yeah, and we're talking about every time in a conversation wheel, you can pick to earn dark side points or light side points. Yep. That's what we're yep. referring yep. to. Uh, Matthew Jack says, Kaizak, and you are 100% correct. There's no way <laughs> no way that I'm lying. You will yeah, absolutely it, it's, it's true. That, that kind of gives it away. The plan is actually to give <laughs> one or the other versions of Kaizak. Uh, Which they are the same version. And, and light or dark. I'm not saying he's <laughs> joking his lane one in of the other situation. <laughs> one of them does his finger guns with the right hand forward, and the other one with the left hand forward. <laughs> Uh, I want you guys to know, Charles and I literally made this joke about an hour ago. <laughs> Not even kidding. Uh, I feel like I'm seeing a pretty even split. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe now a little bit more. I don't know. Oh, maybe dark side a little bit. Yeah. I feel like dark side's maybe a little. Maybe. Shall I? Do you want to tell? Yeah. yeah. So we looked at the last six months of play history, uh, and actually the light side was ahead 59 percent. Uh, to the dark side's 41%. Which surprised me. I yeah. genuinely was like, well, clearly everyone just kills everybody. Right, so, right that's what right. I really thought. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think a huge part of it is in Knights of the Fallen Empire, a lot of the choices matter so much more and they're yeah. so much more impactful to you personally yeah. that it's hard to always be a, yeah. the, the bad person. I've right? always I've always considered it a personal mission to make sure that a dark side choice just makes you feel really awful <laughs> about yourself when you make it. So. Yeah. That's always uh, so I think it's going to be a really interesting contest. I think we're going to give uh, periodic updates. I don't know if it's every week or whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what that, that contest lets will be. you guys know which which if the light sides ahead, if the dark sides ahead, by what percentage, right. to kind of encourage people to catch up. Um, and we're going to have a lot of rewards that are themed around either the dark or the light. Yeah. And uh, we'll announce all the details of the different tiers and things you have to complete in order to earn these rewards, and what all the rewards are, and how long the program goes for, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, will be coming uh, in about three weeks. The intent is this event will start June 28th. Yep. Alongside... Ooh. Oh, like a transition? That was a great transition. <laughs> we didn't plan this. I didn't know what you were going to say. We're professionals. <laughs> we're professionals. So like alongside Mesco's <laughs> birthday? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... yeah. That would have been awesome. I was like, yeah. it's my birthday. Ben's End 25th birthday? Yeah. Is that what we're doing? End of stream. <laughs> Okay. Two right. challenges yeah. us through chapter yeah, fifteen. On, jumping on in. Chapter fifteen, the Gemini Deception. That's our uh, next chapter. That'll be coming June twenty eighth. Uh, that's so. That's two chapters in one month, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, to me, this is. I, I've been accused of getting really excited about everything we do uh, and being super positive, <laughs> but uh, this is maybe the chapter I've been looking forward to players seeing the most. This chapter, I, I we do play. We do internal play tests and stuff. As yeah. I. Uh, when I played this chapter, this is my favorite chapter. Nice. So I played this chapter, especially the, some things, without being specific. Yeah. I was like, this is... It's a very eventful chapter. Yeah, this yeah. is so good. It's very cool. Um, so obviously, you know, Scorpio front and center there. Uh, everyone's favorite uh, malicious, but <laughs> hopefully trustworthy droid. Uh, you're going to join with her, Theron, Senya, Lana, like your whole, your whole gang. You're going to be going on this uh, assault on one of Arkin's warships. Uh, hoping to seize control of the Eternal Fleet itself, to actually take control of this massive uh, asset that the Eternal Empire has been using to crush the galaxy and turn it against them. So it's a pretty major, uh, pretty major play uh, that you're going to be going for here. And also, of course, going to uncover some more of the secrets uh, that were kind of teased and hinted at in Chapter 14 uh, about the backstory and the relationship between Scorpio and these Gemini droids that command uh, the Eternal Fleet ships. Uh, you're actually going to go up against one of these Gemini captains in this sort of cat and mouse, uh, Scorpio versus Gemini kind of thing. It's, it's going to be really cool. And so we have, at the end of the stream, we have a short teaser video a sneak peek into Chapter yep. 15. So make sure, if you've come this far, make sure you stay till the end yep. uh, and, and check out that video. And I won't, I won't curse on stream, but I think this chapter should be called 
blank getting real. That's, <laughs> that's what I think. That's what I think this chapter should be called. In my my humble opinion. Maybe we should have Musco write all the uh, titles. Yeah, all yeah. The let's just moving yeah, forward. Let's There's a reason like I'm a community down. manager and not a writer. I don't know. That's true, but. <laughs> <laughs> It's, that's not the only reason. Anyway, we want to give you the, yeah, the key out. Highlight the key art. Yeah. Um, uh, also coming with this chapter, uh, this this month's Alliance Alert, uh, Gus, uh, one of the most, I think, one of the most popular uh, companions, actually, uh, just because he's so hilarious. He's uh, Gus, for anyone who doesn't know, he's sort of this ex-Jedi. He's really a washout Jedi. He wasn't very good at it. Uh, so he turned to being a con man. He, he started using his Force powers to pretend... <laughs> Uh, like he was, or, you know, pretend that he had more force power than he did, pretend to be uh, someone important uh, in order to swindle people. There's lots of all caps going on in chat right now, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that I can confirm. It appears, yes, that Gus is pretty popular. Yeah, yeah. So one I, of my favorites. I asked Charles before this, I'm like, hey, do you reckon if I ask you any question about Gus, you could get it right? And he was like, yeah, probably. And then I realized we'll I see. didn't have any good questions. <laughs> about Gus. So what I was thinking is, if Chad... Try to think of like the wackiest oh, question you can come up with about Gus. <laughs> oh man! Let's test Charles, Johnny oh, on the spot. That's here. Not, uh, that's not gonna out. So you also mentioned that he is one of your favorite companions. Why? What, what makes him stand out from so, the rest? So many characters in Star Wars. You know, they're the greatest hero. They're the strongest soldier. They're the most amazing Jedi. The most evil Sith. Gus is just kind of a loser. <laughs> you know, like, he's, he's not great at, at anything except just being this kind of hilarious guy who's, who's you know, kind of by your side and got your back. And uh, I feel like he has the reaction that a normal person would to all of these crazy goings-on and these space wizards and... Uh, that, so. It's a nap? Is that what you're reading as well? <laughs> no, I'm reading this. Uh, uh, my favorite question, and this, uh, this person needs to win a prize. Hang on, let me get their name because we absolutely must give them a prize. Uh, friendly Fascists. Great, great name. Uh, how does he taste? That was, that was the name, and then that immediately made me laugh. Uh, speaking of prizes, by the way, uh, for those of you that have won prizes that we've announced, make sure to check your Twitch PMs. Um, Tate's already contacted you to get your information to get you your prizes, so make sure to check your private messages on Twitter. Is Gus Jar Jar's ancestor? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and come out and say yes. <laughs> I think you might regret yeah. that later. <laughs> there might be uh, some adoptions that happen yeah. along the way. It might be more figurative. Yeah. But let, let's go with yes. All right. <laughs> the, the, my favorite thing is that no one has asked a serious question. I'm just seeing, like, right. what is Gus's blood type? I, I does, like, he, does he brush his teeth? What is his favorite color? <laughs> I feel like that's what pretty appropriate to Gus. Awesome uh, oh, Twitch, sorry, Twitch PMs. I said Twitter. Oh, I said Twitch yeah. PMs. Yeah. This is... <laughs> that's so good. Uh, no one was Gus to... born, or did he spontaneously generate? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I'll be honest. I don't know the uh, the reproductive cycle of Mon Calamari. I'm not sure oh. that that's been established or not. Hmm. So there that, we go. We found is, the question. I, Charles I, is not the I know to. it for Sarlax, uh, but I don't know it for Mon Calamari. Is that a real thing? You actually know that? Well, I know what it used to be. It's it's legends now. Oh, I see. It's best not discussed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's leave that. Let's Charles, leave that where it is. Charles apparently knows a lot about Star Everything. Wars. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Because never in my life I would have thought, how does Sarlax come into being? Like, like where does Sarlax come from, Daddy? Yeah. Like, always before I worked here, I thought I was this huge Star Wars fan, and then now that I work here, I'm like, oh, I'm such a novice. Yeah. It doesn't even yep. compete with people like this guy. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, okay. Shall we Shall we uh, move on? Let's move on. Yeah, what have we got? All right. right. I'll wrap it up. Oh, we're wrapping it up. Oh, yeah, and it's almost exactly 3.30. All right. We're pretty good. So chapter uh, 14 went live this week, Mandalore's Revenge. Really exciting. Glad everyone is enjoying that. If you haven't had a chance to play it, make sure when you get home from work or whatever else you're up to right now, you patch it up, get in game, and check it out. Uh, uh, we have our July subscriber rewards. Uh, make sure you're subscribed by July 1st. Get that sweet, sweet HK55 poster for your stronghold. Sure. Um, we have a really cool event coming out, the Dark Side versus the Light Side event. More information's coming in about yeah, three yeah, weeks. Yeah, close to the but end. But that event's going to kick off June 28th. So you're going to get the information, and then a couple of days later, it'll be live in-game, yeah. and you'll be playing this event. So that's yeah. cool. Uh, chapter 15, the Gemini Deception is coming on June 28th also. Contains the uh, Gus recruitment mission. Um, even though we don't know necessarily how he came into this world, we're just excited <laughs> that he's there. 
Um, <laughs> and then finally, Moscow will be doing the forum yeah. wrap up yep. uh, following the stream, yeah, giving a, a yeah, summary of. Yeah. Sometime in, in 30 minutes to an hour after I walk out of this room, I'll get it up on the forums. And then any follow up questions that you guys have, especially since we typically tend to run out of time because we try to cover a lot, um, any questions that we didn't answer, ask them in the uh, ask them in that forum thread, and either I can answer them or uh, Ben's been swinging around the forums as well. Maybe he can get some answers in there as well. So. Um, be sure to check out the forum wrap-up as well. Uh, that's it. So we have... A little teaser. We do we have a little teaser. Um, so I think it's about like 40 seconds of teaser. Yeah, probably. That's I pretty cool. So what will happen is, uh, as usual, when we're done talking, screen will go black, our faces will disappear, video will play, and that will that will be the end of the stream. Um, so I guess we should probably say, say our farewells. Yeah, just thank you guys for tuning in once yeah, a time. I appreciate y'all uh, jumping in. I enjoyed all, all the Gus questions. They That's were right. fantastic and excellent. I'm glad we could give some prizes I, out. Absolutely. Yeah. Always fun. And uh, I guess we'll see them for July. Yeah, we'll be back in four weeks. Yep. See you guys. Doing it all again right before celebration. Yeah. Um, and there'll be some cool stuff to talk about. Yep. So thank you guys very much for, uh, for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and the rest of your June. Yes. Since it is the third day of June. And, uh, and we'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoy the teaser. The teaser's pretty cool. So It's a really good teaser. It is. All right, so I'm going to click some buttons, and then we will play the video. Thank you guys very much. See you guys. Take care. Can't see my hand. Have a good one. I understand you're both upset, but, but there is no way to know they would recruit the Mandalorians of all people. At what point do you tell me something? That keeps you from decorating the bottom of the spire. But, but there is no. I understand you're both upset, but, but there is no way to know they would recruit the Mandalorians of all people. At what point do you tell me something that keeps you from decorating the bottom of the spire? But, but I don't deserve that. Yes, I know. It's going to Phelan, enough play. We have them. The Outlander and Mother. They're trying to take one of our ships. The fools. Ah, <sighs> the day is here. I feel it this time. I really do. Don't you share my enthusiasm? You mistake me. My silence comes not from doubt, but from certainty.